Hi, I'm Tom Spurs, and my favourite Disney film is Planes 2 Fire and Rescue. Hi, my name is Aaron Murray, and my favourite Disney film is Mars Needs Mums. Speaking of Mars Needs Mums, oh. Aaron, have you yeah. heard about the new Pinocchio live action Disney remake? Yes, I have. Directed by the guy who did Forrest Gump. And Welcome to Marwin. And so Life. much other shit. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, Back to the Future 3. Uh, he done, um... Really memorable, good films. Uh, did he do The Terminal? He might have. He did a lot of... Robert Zemeckis... How do you pronounce his name? Robert Zem... 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 Robert... Robert Z. Robert, Rob, <laughs> Robbie Z. <laughs> Robbie Z. <laughs> Robbie in the Z. house. He's done a lot of classics, and he's going to do another classic, which yeah. is a Pinocchio film that's so confident in itself, it decided not to include Pinocchio in its trailer, despite the fact the name of the film is Pinocchio. Listen, listen. Mm. That's actually really smart to do, right? Because okay. it's like what Steven Spielberg says, never let people see the monster. Okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you yeah. watch Jaws? When did you see Jaws? You don't see him in, you know, the first five minutes. True. You see him... When do you see him in that? It's Jaws? What's... Wait, how long is Jaws? Jaws is like an hour and 40. When I do think? you see Jaws? I think you see him like halfway through. Oh. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but, you I think. started with so much confidence. That's like maybe you see him an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like yeah, but that's that, 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 yeah, that's yeah, like a yeah, long yeah. time to not see the shark. Oh no, the shark movie. Are you, are you saying Pinocchio is the shark? I'm saying Pinocchio is the monster. I, I mean, he'll probably look like one. He's gonna look fucking grotesque. They, everything else in that movie looks fucking grotesque. I mean, that movie does look a bit. The thing is, I don't think anyone can figure out how to do Jiminy Cricket in live action. The problem with this film is it's washed out. Yeah. The colours of it. Like, yeah, the, no, it, exactly. it, it, So it looks soulless. Yeah. And because it looks soulless, it looks unsettling. Welcome to 2022, where we have three Pinocchio movies. And like, so we got, okay, so you got the Zemeckis one. Yeah. The Del Toro one, for, which is on Netflix, I think. Yeah. And which, then, that will be good. I'm excited I'm for that sure, one. Because that's like, you know, at least a, 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 like a new idea, a new yeah. take. And you've got the um, the one that came out at the beginning of this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah, with Paulie. Whatever. Whatever. I, I want to like, be on my own. <laughs> it was a class film. Class film. Now, you see, that one will probably be better than this episode. Honestly, probably. Because at uh, least that one's like, memorable. Exactly. But it kind of t- that ties into, obviously, what we're talking about today, which is Disney. Um, I love Disney. Yeah, definitely. I'm saying that because I'm going to Disney, Florida. Are you? Disney, oh yeah, you are. You are. You are, in you are. Like a couple of weeks. Yeah. And um, I I'm scared to say something too negative in case Disney don't let me in. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, we're talking about Disney. We're talking about Disney live action remakes. There's a lot of them. There is a lot. Uh, confirmed this week was that Guy Ritchie is taking the Hercules film. The man himself, Guy because Ritchie, he really nailed it the first time. Guy Ritchie must be an awfully Guy Pauly right now if he has to do the, if he has to do the Hercules film. <laughs> what on earth? It's, well, yeah, I mean, look, okay, look, look, okay. Guy Ritchie, I like Guy Ritchie. I don't. I think he's a great director. I can't stand I him. I think you're wrong, sir. I, I think he's the worst director I've maybe ever seen. Do you not like Lockstock? I haven't seen Lockstock, to be fair. I've not seen Snatch. No, I've seen shit films. Okay, okay. What, I, I am the what person films by right Guy now. Ritchie have you seen? I've seen Aladdin. Okay. King Arthur. Okay. And his new one, which I don't remember the name of, which was shit. Wrath well, it wasn't too bad. Wrath of Man. Wrath of Man. It wasn't too bad. Wrath of Man was great. It wasn't too bad. It was great. It was It was fine. Okay. Um, And I think I saw those two. I saw um, Gentleman. I hate that film. See, this is just because you have really bad taste. I... You're not entirely wrong. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. But Guy Ritchie... He made King Arthur. I have seen King Arthur. Do you think... The, okay, so the ones I haven't seen... Yeah. Is I think I've seen bits of the first Sherlock Holmes film we've done. Okay. But I haven't seen King all the way through. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen King Arthur. I saw Aladdin. You did see Aladdin. Not by choice. That's my favorite way to watch anything. Like it was, I did not want to see it, but I was dragged to see it. Yeah. Um, of course, I hated it. Good. But you know, I actually once um, I was. This is just a random anecdote. <laughs> I was once talking to this girl, who we were just talking about films, and she said 
that one of her favourite films of all time was the Aladdin live action remake. Yeah. And that she preferred it over the original. Okay. I have a poster of the original Aladdin up in my uh, in my bedroom at my parents. So just as a reference of how much I love that film. Were you talking to this girl romantically? We were, you know, it was like we were, we were getting set up together. Oh. And um, we were <laughs> Who, Whose idea up. was that? Because that's a horrible match. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and, and she said, I love the, the live action Aladdin remake. <laughs> And I, I, I had to, because I was like, I'm not going to just start an argument with this girl over nothing. <laughs> Even though it's not nothing. You know, it, it's it's very valid. Well, yeah. So, I, so I, mean, I, I have to I pretend think... I didn't hate that film for a second. And it was... You have got to do that sometimes. It was you have got to do that. But, like, but you don't understand, Aaron. It's yeah. the live action Aladdin remake. The worst thing is when you are talking to a girl mm. on like Tinder or whatever. And you just... Honestly, okay, tip to anyone, <laughs> don't talk about films yeah. to a person on, like, a Tinder or like, any, any dating anything. app. Honestly, just don't talk just to anyone Just don't talk films. about it, because, let's be real, right, what's going to happen is, right, yeah. is your favourite film is going to end up getting slandered by this, by this total fucking stranger. Absolutely. And then any, any signs of you maybe could be incompatible is gone. It is gone. If you ask them like, what their favourite movie is... I will give them. I will give you ten bucks. They will probably say like, Avengers, Avengers, Spider Man, um, No Way Home. Listen, my girlfriend has not seen Blair Witch Project yet, and all I'm wow. saying is that if she hasn't, if she if she comes on goes and goes, that film was shit. That film was mid. Then <gasps> the days are numbers. What well, can no, I exactly, say? Like you know, exactly. it's like yeah, you need you know, and it's like I know this is a tangent, but it's yeah. important. No, it is important. It's important. And it links to the topic. It links to the topic. Because too many people. <laughs> Are getting away with liking Disney live action remakes. We need to stand up to this. We need to take a stand against them. No, but there's so many coming out. There's so way too many. We've had um we had so just it's a quick overview of what we've thought so far. What what did you think of Cinderella? Okay, so Cinderella I haven't seen. Yeah. But from the trailers, I was like, it looks fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks fine. I think was it uh Lily Lily James. Lily James. Who's nice. Lily she's James, cool. she's, she's fit. I like her. <laughs> she's. Okay, I right. like her. Yeah. You know, I think she's great. I she's think she's. Cool. A, you know, she's. You know, she's a cool. She's a cool actress. And like, is yeah. it directed by um, Kenneth Bragner or something? Yeah, who done Death on the Nile? And um, yeah, Belfast. Um, Jack Ryan. Thor. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what else? Did have you do? seen? Like, have you like watched Thor recently? Like the original one, where every other shot is a like, Dutch tilt. Yeah. And it's actually kind of based. I mean, yeah, but the rest of that film's shit. Yeah, but no, but like the film's like, it, just because of the Dutch tilts, I kind of like it more than I the, the majority of other MCU films because it feels to me like Kenneth Bragg was just on a lot of cocaine. It's got a personality at least. Well, exactly. Yeah, it's got something uh, going for it. But then, um, what do you think of Snow White and the Huntsman, which I think about ten people have seen? I'm not one of them ten. No, exactly. Snow White and the Huntsman. That wasn't Disney, was it? I think it was. I think it was technically a Disney Live Action remake. Like, the one with Kristen Stewart. I think so. It's not. It's that's that's is that, Universal. Is that not Disney? That's Universal. That's that. There's too many of these films. Yeah, yeah. I know it's Universal because they oh, because they're making another Snow White film as well. They're with um, Are they doing a live with action? Rachel Z- Ziegler, I think. The West Side Story. Yeah, West Side one. Story Girl. Oh, is that her name? I don't remember. Why? This a really is, good this question. Is, uh, this is probably the heart of this whole discussion right now. Is why? Why? <laughs> but uh, that's coming out, and I think she's in that, apparently. Um, okay, what do you think of another one of my favourite films of all time? The Jungle Book remake. It's a, it's a class film. Um, I love the part where... Okay, I haven't seen the film. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <Do you> know? <laughs> why would I watch the Jungle Book remake? Because you love the Jungle Book original. But if I love the original one... Okay. It's directed by John Favreau. Who t- to be fair, to John Favreau... Okay, no, he did direct don't, live action. Don't, 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 don't To be fair John to John Favreau. Favreau. Don't defend He directed Favreau. the best MCU film. The original Iron Man. Sure. The best one. <laughs> <laughs> he directed the original Iron Man. That was the best MCU film. The best. I think it's the best. I don't think it's the best. Rewa- it's good. Rewatch. Great. It, I think it's the best. Yeah, it's great. I don't say it's the best. I think it's the best. That's a hot take. It is, but at the same time, I, well, either that or Endgame, I think are the best. 
I just have really shit taste. You think Endgame is one of the best MCU movies? Yeah. Why? Because it's the only one that feels like, you know, finally we're going to get fucking away from this. <laughs> and then Disney were like, no, no, no. <laughs> You're coming back. You coming... <laughs> You'll be <laughs> back. <laughs> like, look at Mickey Mouse. It's literally outside that fucking screening. Like, You'll be back. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, no, exactly. I, I I like Endgame. I think it's it's uh, it feels like freedom. It's not it's not a bad film, but I wouldn't say it's the best. No, I'd, I'd say it's one of the best. I think that and Iron Man because it's like the beginning of the thing, the ending of the thing. Because yeah. everything else in between is just like purgatory. Yeah. And this is uh until they remake it. No, but you got to think. There's a point where, um, I don't know. Like, what are they gonna? There's no way they will never make another Spider-Man film ever again. Where it's like a new Spider-Man. They will just the MCU will just get restarted at some point. That's a terrifying thing to think about. You see, that's the thing, is like, this because that cause one day Tom Holland will die. That's like the fear of like these Disney things now. Is like it seems like what they want to do is they want to sort of restart with yeah. like a new generation. Oh no, so, exactly. So they said this new Lion King is the Lion King of this new generation. Exactly. Where it is, and I mean, I get it. I get it. I do get that angle. But it does I also think... feel like Disney have a set amount of stories they're willing to tell. And I've just, yeah. de- just decided that what they're going to do now is just keep telling this, these stories until yeah. we're dead. And then our children will hear these stories again. <laughs> then they will die. But the problem... And then we'll make it... there will be a... We will eventually get to the point where The Lion King could mean like 15 different films. But the problem is, is that they're doing these films way too early. Oh no, exactly. Like, Lion King... The original Lion King is still heavily watched to this yeah. day. Well, no, the so thing is, making a remake. These movies are timeless. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. The MCU films maybe aren't timeless. Remember when Tony Stark talked about MySpace in Iron Man One? Okay, it's such a good film. Um, talked about MySpace. No, exactly. But that's the problem. The film obviously will be dated. It, it kind of already is. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at fucking Ang Lee's Hulk for a superhero film that. Where you know like visual effects and shit. Yeah, but it's a great film. Sure, I agree. But the, but the visual, of, the visual effects. You know what I mean? I think live action stuff is so much easily easier to be dated than animated stuff. Well, that's the OG yeah. Lion King will never get to a point where it doesn't feel timeless. Well, that's always my concern with like 3D animation. Yeah, is like because you know when you watch like Snow White. Yeah. Say. Snow White still looks incredible. Oh, no, like exactly. That original one. Because exactly. Because it's hand-drawn. There's no... It's timeless. But Toy Story 1... It Toy looks... Story 1 looks like shit now. Oh, no, exactly. Like, it looks well, awful. Look at the fucking Aladdin remake. Yeah. Will Smith and that looks shit. It looks terrible. But How like, do you think that's going to compare But what? What's so depressing? Whatever the fuck else comes what, out. What is, what is so depressing about that Aladdin remake, though, is that, I honestly, a Guy Ritchie Aladdin movie, to me sound cool as fuck it could have been because a guy because guy ritchie is a is an interesting director to get because he has a style mm. but the problem is is that see that's why i'm not excited for this hercules movie it's gonna be this is guy ritchie getting a paycheck well yeah like no, no, no. and that's the thing i mean i'd argue style his style's be. shit but at least he has a style but i'd argue that style's shit yeah, but I'd rather him use his shit style than okay, have, true. you know, like a Brett Ratner like, kind of director on a film. No, I, I think, the thing is, I think these Disney, Disney films are so fun. The OG ones. Mm. A lot of them are so fun mm. that lo- just desaturating the colours mm. and fucking um, just making them boring is the weirdest way of going about remaking them. <laughs> see, that's the thing, is, like, these remakes. You see, I have, like, no... On, like, a conceptual level, I think remakes are fine. Yeah. Like, you know, people who bitch... I think people bitch about remakes too much. I think remakes are conceptually fine, unless we're living in a world where remakes are the only thing, only thing that come out. Yeah. Today. <laughs> but, like, but like Scarface, right? Yeah. A lot of people forget that, like, Scarface... Well, no, 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 is, that, that's the thing. You know, it's like... Remakes are yeah. fine as long as that's not all we're getting. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, The problem exactly, is that's yeah. all we're getting. And, and even then, I mean, obviously, it should be all we get, but I, you know, but I don't mind if someone goes, okay, I'm going to make a remake, but I'm going to take it in a different direction. Oh, yeah. or, or a remake of films that either aren't that popular... Well, Coda's or, a remake. Is it? Yeah, Coda's a remake of um, a French film. Is it actually? Le Family Bellier. I... 
Fun fact about that film. I did not know that. I watched that film in French class in, a, in, yeah. a, in high school. Watched that film. And I was like, oh, you know, it's a, it's a funny little film. And I did not spare it a single thought. I was like, oh, it's a cute little film. And then... Did you watch Code knowing like, that yeah. it was a remake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it is the yeah. same plot. And then I got and then it got remade into um, Coda starring Amelia Jones, yeah. who I love. And, um, yeah, and I was like, whoa, this is just the weirdest... I had no number. idea that that was a... Yeah, and then they won like, Best Picture. That's insane. Yeah. That poor film. That poor film. I did not know that, but I know <laughs> yeah, it's a remake, it's, which won an Oscar. It's an English language remake of a French film. I did not know that. But that's the, the thing. It's like made French film. But that's the like, there's tons of, like, you know, like, The Thing yeah. is a remake. Like, yeah, there's, yeah. there's tons and tons of fantastic films that are remakes. Yeah, no, exactly. But the problem is, is that when Disney are doing these remakes, they're not doing it because they go, oh, like, we have an interesting idea. So, like, yeah. Maleficent. Yes. Right? I have no problem with well, that films like that. They made two of those, didn't they? There was another Maleficent. Yeah. That was... I bad. think I think Maleficent was one of those where it made a lot of money, the first one. Yeah. So then you were like, let's do a sequel. And it flopped. But then it was like, but those films were like lightly in a bottle and you were never going to get that success again. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like Alice in Wonderland. And then they done Alice through the looking glass, which flopped. <laughs> no right, let's one not talk. Okay, so Alice in Wonderland is my favourite story of all time. <laughs> like the book I fucking love. I love the movie. Uh, Alice, the 1988 <laughs> stop motion absurd horror film from disney <laughs> yes <laughs> famously from disney um you can watch on youtube for free by the way in full it is one of my like, mm. top, top 10 favorite films of all time for me it's probably mid yeah huh. what the fuck <laughs> no uh, it's not mid it's amazing <laughs> and like that like, i love alice in wonderland yeah it's one of the saddest things to ever happen in my life was when the alice in wonderland live action remake came out <laughs> and not only did it come out but it was released by Tim Burton, which means that a lot of 12-year-old girls... See, you know what, though? A Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland... Sounds sick. That sounds like a marriage made in heaven. That's no, like it exactly, does. It does. you know... So why yeah. is the film shit? So why, yeah, or like fucking Dumbo. Why did... Who who looked at Dumbo and was like, okay, guys... I've forgotten so many of these films. <laughs> you know why? Yeah, I also did. But that, like you say, lacking like, like a Vietnam Dumb- War flashback. Dumbo <laughs> had Danny DeVito in it. Dumbo has Colin Farrell in it as well. Yeah. Dumbo... I was a fever dream. I want to know who was in that meeting at Disney. Yeah. Dumbo remake, guys. Who began to direct it? Let's get Tim Burton <laughs> to Wait, do who, it. Who would you choose to do a Dumbo remake? I don't know. Michael Bay. Yeah, like, <laughs> like the thing I, don't is, know. I think some of these remakes have really good potential. A Hunchback no, yeah. of Notre Dame remake sounds fucking sick. Do I think yeah. they're making a massive mistake doing Hunchback of Notre Dame, a Disney live action remake for kids? Yeah, no, that's the stupidest idea I've heard in my entire life. That film is about a fucking perv priest. Yeah, that is the shittest idea for a yeah. family ki- like kids film. I wonder who look at the director. Tim Burton. Brian Sink. <laughs> But like no, that film, that film could be sick. Yeah, sick. It's like the Hunter Hunter drama is basically fucking opera. No, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, it's it's what the that's the problem is they're looking at these remakes mm. the wrong way. Yeah, they're going into these remakes going okay because they've seen how it was done before. Yeah, and then they say, let's just do it out again. So yeah, it's like with but, Lion King, the live action. Yeah, like Lion King, there was no reason no. to make that live action. I saw I saw someone say that live act that Lion King maybe could have had some merit. If it was like a Discovery style documentary, Discovery Channel style documentary, mm. which is um, they, where it's telling the story of Lion King in this realistic animation, but it's fucking like done in the style of a document, like a David Attenborough documentary. But it would never, but that would never. It happen. would never happen. Yeah, but it's like, but that's the thing. Is like I've seen like that. I, I remember people trying to justify that fucking Lion King movie. Yeah, and, like I was like, have you seen the um? I think is a teens react. It's it's one of the fucking yeah. react videos to that trailer, and there's just a guy who just goes like they they show they show Pride Rock mm. in live action. And the guy just goes, "That's Pride Rock." <laughs> who the fuck? So like watch that trailer like, <gasps> oh, like <laughs> Pride Rock. <laughs> oh, like it's literally like. But that's it. I remember seeing the trailer for that, and like I mm. was so fucking cynical because I was like. Why? Why? Yeah. Like, no, exactly. Why? Why, okay. why do we need that? It looks great. 
the, you know, it looks, like, the animals, like, look great, I no, guess. No, 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 the animation's cool. But, it looks like a tech demo. Why do we need it, though? Yeah, yeah exactly. Have you seen the scene when fucking, um, is it Simba? That is the main character. Yeah, yeah, the little, like, you know, mm. when fucking... Have you never seen Lion? I have, I'm just, I'm just forgetting <laughs> the names. Um, when his dad fucking dies. Spoilers. Yeah. When his dad fucking dies. Well, no, because dies. they can't show emotion. Yeah, exactly. And they have, like, the... No! Like, in, like, the animated one, there's so much emotion behind yeah. that. And then with the, like, with the, the fucking lion, it's just, like... No. The thing is, everything, all, every part of that film looks better animated. No, yeah, exactly. Because also, that, like, the colours and all that shit. also, you can't, you can't put human emotion onto a real animal. Yeah. You can't do that. No, exactly. It, that is impossible. So what you do is you make that anime. Yeah. Because you're, you're able to play with that more. Well, exactly. You make them animate. It's going, okay, yeah, like, you know, because obviously... I can't go to a lion and be like, be a human, like, you know, show human emotion to me. Like, no, exactly. it's a fucking it's just, lion. I like, don't get why they decided it was a good idea at all. It's such a bizarre, like, but I think, but I think the problem is, is that a lot of people, I think people's expectations mm. dropped so low that, yeah. like, people watch it go, oh, well, you know, it's fine. It's like, yeah. but why? it's not, though. No, it's, it's like, you they're know. Making, and they're making a fucking sequel. They're making a sequel with is it Barry, Barry Jenkins? Barry fucking Jenkins. Barry Jenkins went through. Moonlight. He got snubbed for Beat If Beale Street Could Talk and he got so pissed off at society <laughs> that he decided to go and direct the Lion King that sequel. That got snubbed in a series that like great on the underground, yeah, underground, underground Railroad. That got no advertising from Amazon. Yeah. It made him so fucking angry that he just was like, right, fuck you all. <laughs> I'm going to get the Disney bag. Fuck you all. Like, Lion King 2, everybody. Was she fair? Like... A Lion King 2 in the style of Moonlight would be the fucking funniest thing. We <laughs> were like gay lions. <laughs> I mean, that would be sick. That would be so based. Yeah. Maybe. Um, no, but like, I would... Uh, I don't even have hope. I was going to say I have hope for Lion King 2. No, I don't. No. Every part of hope is gone. See, that, and, and, that's, and that's the thing as well. That's another thing I'm always afraid of is when, like, small directors are then... Well, it's, sure. that, it's that tactic. The, yeah, the, it's Disney's get tactic. Entities, yeah. I, I yeah. stand by, and Disney can sue me if I'm wrong, and I'm speaking slander, <sighs> but I stand by that my, I, I believe that Disney hire these unknown directors just so they can pay them less. You can pay them less, and as well, like, they have, like, no control. Exactly. Because what does a, you know, because, like, yeah, okay, this director might have done an acclaimed indie film. But what, what's the director also... of, um, I don't know, The Creepy Man? What's he gonna do? <laughs> the Creepy Man? Well, it's like you know, what I mean, like, no, but that's that's the kind of stuff what they get. No, they yeah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a director who's done like some yeah low budget. It's either yeah, yeah, film, yeah. It's and they either go, like, how would you like to direct a Marvel? <laughs> yeah, movie? yeah, exactly. Yeah, like it's like fucking speaking there, yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's like Disney comes around in a cloak and just goes Marvel paycheck, like, and they what? go, I want to pay my mother's mortgage. <laughs> yeah, like, and then they they leave it and they're fucking trapped yeah. in the system. You see, look, it's absolute. I respect anyone who just wants to go in and get a bag. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Especially yeah. if you're going to use that money to go to something else. Maybe Barry Jenkins is doing this Lion King film because he's, he's working on another project and he wants Lion to... King 3. <laughs> <laughs> he's so excited to make Lion King 3. Didn't even bother he, to he's think He's got about this all planned out. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, like, you know, like, maybe, like, maybe Barry Jenkins has this elaborate idea for a film. Yeah. That, like, no one will do it. So he's like, okay, fine. I'll finance it myself. Yeah. But I'll use it with the money I get by doing this random Disney film, which that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. This Lion King film was guaranteed to make a billion. I, th- I think it is. The first one made Lion... a lot of money. Well, no, no, obviously, but it's the Lion King remake. Do you think the Lion King 2, Simba's Revenge, or whatever the fuck they'll end up calling it? Did... Simba Strikes Back. What was what was the Lion King sequel about? The, like, the, the animators one? What was that about? I'm pretty sure it's the Lion King again. I don't remember. Like, what, like, what can they... It was one and a half. That was... Based. What was that like? The there was, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the NC seventeen version. It was Pumba and Timon. Uh, it was just their version of the story. It was their like perspective. That it was pretty based. It was one of, but I think it was about Simba's fucking kids. I think the second one. So I guess that's what this one will be about. Kids. Yeah. Or I guess it could be. But I don't know if it's the thing is that what I don't know if it's a remake of Lion King two, or if it's the Lion King, the remake two. Does that I make guess, any sense? I guess what they're trying to do is, like, start new series with a lot of these. So, they start off with remaking the original, and then yeah. they then go on a different direction. Yeah. So, they'll be like, okay, so, well, like... 
There's some merit in that. Yeah, I guess. Not much, but... <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I guess you've got to sell out your soul to get to that point. Yeah, like, you've got to... Like, because that's the thing is, I don't know, would they make money if they made a whole new thing? I mean, because that's... I mean, but that's the thing, like, with Disney now, if they're in a tough spot, like... like, like No, like, they're not. Yeah. No, no, but they're... <laughs> they're not no, in no, a no, tough no, spot. No, no, no. Not, Disney, no, they own the no, world. No, no, no. Not, not in terms of... They could of, buy a not country. Not in terms of creatively. It's sure. weird, because... They've got like so like they just released Lightyear, everyone's favorite film, which was like which they released that in cinemas, which is yeah. the first like Pixar like film to even get a cinema release since. Yeah. What was it? What was Soul? No, Soul. Wait, no. Soul got to um, Disney first. Oh, Soul did go to Disney. Um, onwards. Fucking hell. It was onwards. Following up was... with a banger. <laughs> oh, it was the last one because I was that I remember because I was right before the pandemic. Yeah. I was I was volunteering at a community cinema when that came out. Yeah. I remember waiting outside of an onward screen and, and hearing people talking about COVID and being like, oh, it's like, oh, it's fine. It's just That's like, mental. it's just like the cold. We'll be That's fine. Mental. And then, yeah, like, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, so th- there was that and like, but this is the first like Pixar film that's come out in cinemas. Yeah. And it seems like it's not doing great. It's, it's not a flop. It's not a flop. But it seems like people don't really care. Which is fair. The people don't care. There's a lot of competition. Yeah. And I'm a bit concerned because with that one, that if if a if a established Pixar IP, which yeah, it's not Toy Story Five. Yeah, I get what you but mean. But it's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. It's a Toy Story thing, which they're making sure you know that. Yeah. It's all over the you know. It's obviously it's you know it's it's, it's Buzz Lightyear. It's, 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 it's an iconic character. It, yeah. It's... Like if that's not working, then. I'm I get why, concerned. to be fair, because it's the most confusing film in the world from a premise it's standpoint. It's bizarre. It's really bizarre. Yeah. But so I can imagine general audiences being like, what the fuck is this? But that's the thing, is like, but that's the concern now, is like, Disney's at this point where a lot of the creative stuff they're doing, like, Ten and Red, yeah. Luca, Soul, like, those films are getting shoved. Sure. Yeah, now, yeah, obviously, yeah. some of them were fair enough. Like, Soul made sense, but like, Ten yeah. and Red, there was no reason for that to go onto streaming no no not because like by 100 yeah because like because yeah exactly like by then like the pandemic it's just the cinemas cinemas weren't really affected by it anymore yeah no it, it was, was fine you know because like spider-man fucking made billions the top <laughs> one's doing great batman was yeah. doing well like there's plenty of films that are doing really well now so it's like they could have easily released it but that's no exactly and that's the good saying is like so i think their next film is elementals is that what it's called yeah which is the most fucking it, it just seems like it's ah uh, Pixar gets a weird rep because a lot of their films are what if thing had emotions. The problem with Pixar, I think, is okay. Pixar, after I think, after Toy Story three, yeah, they've not been able to get back to that. I no. don't think they've had good films come out. They've Luca, had like Luca was good. Turn yeah, like, yeah, good. yeah. They've had they've had great what like they've had, What else? Okay, so the ads. So after Toy Story three was Cars two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, I can't no, yeah, to be fair, I think the best thing they probably had since then was Turning Red. Brave. <laughs> Who remembers Brave? <laughs> Monsters University. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. No, to be fair, Coco. Coco was, oh, no, yeah, Coco yeah. Was no, yeah, yeah. They do have, like, good ones in there, but what it is is they don't have that consistency. Like, no. When, no, like, no, back, no, like, no, like no. before, like, that Toy Story 3, like, from Toy Story 1, Toy Story 3, I'd say the only one that were misses was, like, like Bugs Life. Cars. Yeah, cars. Which, even then, those films aren't necessarily bad. But even They're then, not well, then you could say, even then, though, those films, like, cars make bank. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's making like, it's, bank is the problem. Yeah, like... There is no reason yeah. now for, for Disney to go, let's put this Pixar pick, film in, the, in, like, cinemas. See, There's that's, no reason. See, that's the thing. Maybe it... Honestly, I think, like, a good example, like, of the way Disney are now mm. is to look at cars. Yeah. Because cars... Because that's the... Cause people, people are, like, surprised by this, but, like, the cars films... They don't actually do that well. No, like it's in cinemas. Like yeah, like the, the when you actually look at them, they aren't like I feel like the third one was like quite a low gross. It didn't make that much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what it is is yeah, it's the merchandise, it's all yeah. of that stuff because it's cards, it's just simple concept. Yeah, 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 it's exactly. like they can just they can merchandise that like to help. Yeah, yeah, but that's and that's the problem, is like or like you've got Pixar who seem like they want to push boundaries and they wanna you know, which is what Tin and Red's did yeah Taylor pushed a lot of boundaries yeah, like for that film. stuff and that's the thing is like they've done that but then they're also conflicting with Disney who yeah. are 
the dollar signs. And obviously, every single studio wants to make money. Well, exactly. Of course they do. But it's... But I think, like, with Pixar, and I think that's the thing, is, like, it seems like... Because when, cause, cause when, when did Pixar get bought by Disney? Was it, like, two, it was like 2006, 2007? Something like, around like that. There. Something. Like, because... Yeah, you because know, like they started with Toy Story One. I was all great, and they had a bunch of bangers like Wally, Finding Nemo, oh, Incredibles, Wally. Like, just an insane yeah, yeah, yeah. run of films. Well, they got nominated for Best Picture twice. Yeah, yeah, like, like two years in yeah. a row as well. Ratatouille, <laughs> like <fucking> Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille, let's fucking go. But like Monsters Inc., like just a conscious, an amazing run of films. Yeah, and then after Toy Story Three, they've had good ones, didn't they? Inside Out was good. Yeah, you know the good dinosaur. <laughs> like you know yeah, they I had. Mean, they had, a, like, well, it's that. an elemental directed by the same guy that Good Dinosaur. Yeah. Because that's a because brilliant idea. Yeah. He made that best. I think that's also the worst performing film ever. I think that is that is the only Pixar film that I think is like an outright flop. So why? So, why bring him back? I mean, maybe this one's better. Maybe he's just a nice guy. See, I remember Pixar. I remember the, I remember hearing the stories of Good Dinosaur's production. Well, yeah, it was like it was like it, hell. Yeah, it was like because there was like tons of director and, changes. Yeah, I believe that one was in the works for years. Yeah, like before it ever came out. It was out. a very Pixar idea. Yeah, like it, it, cause that's the thing. It's like because I remember. I think was it when Wally came out. Like I think they, they said like when Pixar first started, they had mm. like this kind of. They had this like whiteboard of ideas. Yeah. And that's where Nemo was, Incredibles, like all of these different ideas yeah. that they had. And I think Wally, Wally or Up was one of the last ones. Yeah. Of that list. And then it seems like I have no, yeah, well, it, it What it seems like is every, every Pixar concept is it comes from a single like a single question. Yeah. Which I think why is their films work so well because they're really simple. Yeah. And then, yeah. And that's the thing. It's like I yeah. Like just... I would say Pixar is still good. They just haven't reached. The heights well, I think they I think they're starting to overcomplicate their films. Yeah. Because go back to Toy Story and like Bugs, like it was what if toys are feelings, what if cars are feelings, what if robots hated climate change, what if fish had feelings. Yeah, what if it's and then we come to modern day Pixar. What if Italian people had feelings? Mm-hmm. What if Italian people were real? <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, you know what I mean? Like no, but like Lightyear is the most overcomplicated yeah. film in the like. Nobody knows what this film is. It could as well. Out. Yeah, and as well, it, 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 it's one of them where it's like, okay, it's Andy's favourite film. Yeah. I guess. Which is like, okay, so you've done that. So this is set in like 1995. Yeah. You've got this whole film. And that's the thing, like, because they've, they've tried to establish this premise to it. Like, oh, it's like this. And you know what? On paper, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. As maybe it's like a streaming thing or yeah. something like that. But. The problem is, is that when I when I see that, when I see the trailers, when I see that, I'm like, okay, so they've done that to try and justify this film's existence. Yeah. Because the only other reason I can think to do it is, Toy Story is something that well, sells. Something. Toy yeah, Story the sells. Thing, the thing with throw this in. fucking Lightyear is that it feels like, the, especially the beginning when this film was announced, everyone was saying different things. Mm. Is it about? The, is it like an actual person, or is it about a character, or is it about? Like, when I first saw the trailer, I was so confused because I was like, I thought this was about an actual astronaut in the Toy Story universe. But no, it's like, it's just Toy Story's equivalent of Star Wars, but then... It's basically, it's basically an in-universe film. But I thought Buzz Lightyear was meant to be based on... What, what's Buzz Lightyear based on? So is the TV show based on the... You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, and it, it, it's it's unnecessarily confusing. Now, granted, most kids will give a fuck about that. Well, no, exactly. Right? Little, little five-year-old Timmy doesn't care about the why well, exactly. the lore of Toy Story, but I think it's more so, it's more a question of, you know, because even Toy Story 4, to some extent, has the same issue of, yeah. why are we souring the three? Because you know what? Toy Story 1, 2, 3, perfect. Really good. Absolutely story. perfect. One of the best. Ends beautifully. Yeah. No reason to go back and do a fourth one. Now, exactly. See, I know some people like the fourth one, but I don't mind the fourth one. It's like yeah, like I'm, I'm sure, like you know, I'm sure it adds like something cool to it. Like the trailers didn't make it look terrible. Yeah. But the whole time I was watching trailers, I was like, yeah, it does look terrible. But why? No, no, no exactly. Like, I still couldn't exactly. help but be like, but what is the point of this? It's like yeah, why does and that's, it exist? Other than did you know? Because because that's the thing that came at the time as well when all Pixar were doing at that time was sequels. Like it was Fire and Dory, Incredibles two. Which Incredibles two they didn't even bother to make it like fucking years after the fact. Yeah. It's like immediately after the first one. Which what the fuck's the point? Such a missed opportunity. Yeah. So like you should have it like at least like a film like that having like I I could totally see a sequel to Incredibles. 
Oh, yeah. That yeah. takes place like I 20 get, years later. They're all there. Stuff well, like no, that. exactly. That's a boss idea for a film. I so, would, like, why was the sequel the same? Like, yeah, why is the sequel just more of what you had? Like, that's... Yeah. Like, it's like... It felt like a missed opportunity. Because I could totally... Because well, no, I remember, it's, like... It's stuff like, like... You know, Monsters like University mm. is, is, like, retcons the first film. Because in Monsters, Inc., it's... They, they say they've known each other since they were little. Yeah. And then in Monsters University, they just... Little, don't. little in mind. <laughs> they educate themselves in university. They just like, don't, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it, well, it's it's like they they say something like, um, I think Mike Wazowski says to Sully, "You've been making that joke since the fourth grade." Yeah, it's like that, so there you so go. I, yeah, so that and that and that's the problem is like because these films because of stuff like that. Now, yes, yeah. I don't care that much about the Lord of Monsters Inc. Well, no, but exactly, but it's... it's but it's more so when I see that I think to myself, okay, so 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 whoever's making this, they aren't thinking about it from a passion yeah. standpoint. Yeah. Then I never went, okay, you know what, they find okay. I've watched this film and I thought of a really interesting idea while paying attention to it. What they've done is they've went, okay, Monsters Inc. quite popular. Yeah. Let's go, you know, let's go back to that well and see what we can get out of it. Well, exactly. And it's like, because even, even with Lightyear, like, Toy Story 4 should have just been that it. A nice yeah. little epilogue. Yeah. Done three years later. What? Yeah. We're yeah. back with another, like, Toy Story thing. The thing yeah, that it's scares not Toy Story me about 5, Lightyear, but... the thing that scares me about Lightyear is that they're going to keep doing it. Because, yeah. I, I know obviously the financial performance might make them, make them a bit hesitant. But what it shows to me is that Toy Story 4, which meant to be an ending of Toy Story, isn't an ending of Toy Story. They're going to do Toy Story 5. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, I don't know whether or not... They, I don't think I could get away with doing Toy Story 5. Oh, they can't. Because Toy Story 4 is an ending. The only... the like, You see, that's the thing. Like, I, th- I think my concern is not necessarily that... For a prequel? Like, yeah. A, fil- a film set while they're like, Andy's still young? Easy. That's the fucking a, easiest a Woody, money. A Woody film with, like, Joker. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but genuinely, like... The it's thing, just like going back and constantly being like, "Hey, let's move on this character and this character," because that's well, the thing. Is, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like I don't think you could make Disney... about fifteen different films about no, yeah. Andy's imagination. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay, I don't think Disney will will, will get out of like like year of it. Okay, like you know, okay, let's just not make these anymore. I think my concern is is that I think Disney are gonna start putting a bit more pressure on yeah. Pixar. Yeah, where they think themselves, oh, okay, we need to control this a little bit because. You know, and it's what I am because studios are stupid. That yes. is the main thing, right? Yes. Film like movie studios will look at a film, see a flop, and will think it flop for the complete fucking wrong reason. Yeah. It could be like look at how many vampire films after Morbius that just like stopped being made. It's like yeah. it's not because Morbius didn't flop because everyone hates vampires now. <laughs> like Morbius flopped because Morbius no one flopped for you now. I oh, sorry, yeah, made more billion dollars. More, made more, more billion, more. But like that's the thing. It was like you know, okay, it's like it wasn't because of that. It was because it was Morbius, a yeah, film that no, exactly. no one asked for. Well, exactly. Like you know, that's and that's the how, thing. How, get the how wrong... are vampire films being cancelled, but they greenlit that fucking wrestler film they're making, like the new. I don't remember what the name is. El Muerto. El Muerto. Which yeah. is like yeah, and, and that's that's what I mean. It's like. They get the wrong idea. Yeah. So many times, hey, Morbius didn't do well. Well, clearly, there weren't enough wrestlers in Morbius, so we've got to make El Muerto. Muerto. But that's, and that's the thing, it's like, cause, cause, because obviously, like, studio, like, 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 like the cynical nature of studios, it's yeah. fucking everywhere. But Disney, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney's the main focus. That's like the titan of it, because all they seem to be churning out yeah. is live action remakes, you know, I very IP based sequels, spin offs, stuff like that. Or like whatever, it's so like and like the release Jungle Cruise, which is yeah. based on one of the rides and stuff, and it's like and then Haunted Mansions coming Haunted out. Haunted Mansion, which has already had a film, I assume it will be like that one very much. It's got Danny DeVito in it. And then I mean that's that's cool. That's a plus. Then, that's, that's he's always cool. a plus. But it's like but that's the thing. It's like but I don't I don't see Disney. You see like I so Peach Dragon. Yeah. Right. That films like that or the Black Cauldron. Yeah. Those Sword films, and Sword and yeah, Stone, yeah, no, I those it, yeah, those yeah. live action remakes, fucking go for it. Yeah. Because those films don't have the same legacy behind them. So well, I can exactly. completely, un- I can completely see why you make those ones. Yeah. Because they don't have that. People don't have that. You know. And obviously, there's some people like those sorts have cult followings, but cult followings are different. Those sorts are different to 
and making a remake of The no, Lion exactly. King. Like, exactly, it's the exactly. totally different things. Like, you can make, you know, a, a live action remake of that, because chances are a lot of people haven't seen them. Yes. And so it's like, okay, so someone might go and see that, and maybe even track down the original if they want to, but that's, yeah. you know, having that, that's yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. fine. Like, that's, I'm fine with them, because I think they justify themselves yeah. because of their, like, lack of success, or just general, they yeah. aren't really in, like, the pop culture scene anymore. They're just yeah. not. But it's like, cause that's what I'm concerned about with, like, long term is like say like harry potter for example harry potter fantastic beast isn't doing well mm-hmm. god knows what's gonna happen with that so people are saying oh like you know they're, they're gonna stick to the five films that are planned maybe not considering that each one is doing like less well than the other i don't see them doing that yeah but it's what them with okay so but the wizarding world ip all of the harry potter stuff, that's far too valuable to just give up yeah so what's the plan is it to go back mm. to the well of Harry Potter, do a Cursed Child film? Which, which to be fair, would do really well. Which would do I, amazing. I wouldn't be against a Cursed Child which, film. For Emma Watson. But. Because for. Fans hate Cursed Child. Yeah. Cursed Child's kind of just seen as shit. So, yeah. are they going to do that? And you know, to be fair, the, it'll do well either way, of course. The play awesome. got a ton of acclaim. Cursed the Child. play did, but, but I think that, that, I think that was more because of the technicalities. But I think it was more like the play was good, but the story in the play was shit. Yeah, no, it I was think, more I think so it was just like the, yeah. the technicals. Of the yeah, it was one of the technicals, like, and maybe like the people who like did the actors in it are good, but like <laughs> the people who did the actors, <laughs> the, the people who did the actors, like the, the people, the people who were in it, and like it, it, like it, it's a good technical. Yeah, thing, yeah, but exactly, exactly. Its story is just shit. No, the, but, the like, stories. I mean, dog. The, the film won't. That won't matter to the film because if you bring them back. It oh, will people make, will lose their minds. It's insane it. about that. Will make more billion dollars. Yeah, but that feels like. But that's the thing. It's like, but I don't. But chances are, that it's probably not time for that yet. And it seems like no, the we need, they need, they need a few more years. Yeah, and the actors seem to be saying they're not interested in that. At yeah. least not right now. I mean, Emma so, Watson's off. Emma Watson's doing whatever. Daniel Rafa the biggest shape up says like he doesn't want to do it. Yeah. At least not right Rupert now. Rupert Grint's selling ice cream. Yeah. So they, I think they want to wait a bit more. Uh, I think they're all right. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like, okay, so like say so, so say they want to wait another decade. Yeah. That's still a long time not to use that IP. So oh, no, exactly. To, so what do you do? And it's like, okay, making live action remakes would be, you know. They're not, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, exactly. but then it's like, but then there's also the problem of what if they then start going, okay, let's make spin-offs. Let's make a Dumbledore spin-off or a Snape spin-off. Well, see, this is the thing, isn't and it? it's I think... just, yeah. I'm shocked we haven't got there yet. I guess because wait, what? What's you're you're an educated man. What um Thank streaming you. service would Harry Potter go on? In America, it would be HBO Max. What would it be in the UK? Probably Sky. Okay, probably, right, I, I understand. Prob- I understand probably. why we haven't got anything yet. Because yeah. I think the second Harry Potter gets bought by someone who has a big streaming service. Well, yeah. What I we mean, get is Harry Potter turns into Star Wars. It would presumably be Sky, but I think it would depend on because I know some HBO Max stuff is on BBC. Okay. Now, so we could go to BBC, which would be fucking huge if that happened. Yeah. BBC. But I, I don't. I don't think that wouldn't. It wouldn't. Because happen. I think. I think what. They I would, all. I'm, what I'm saying is, I think if Harry Potter was owned by Disney, mm. um, we would get a fuck ton of, of Harry Potter TV. Like it would be like you know Star Wars mm. with an and or TV show. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. You know, I mean, and you like, know what? Be... You know what? People, are, it, Disney were actually really close to getting. Yeah. Um, I think it was before like the Water Brothers got it. They were very close. Well, people would fucking love that if we got like people mm. would care like the same way that Obi Wan Kenobi was hum- yeah. is being like humongous. People what? would lose yeah. their minds over like that's a, why you a think Dumbledore that thing. that Hogwarts Legacy game that's yeah. coming out that's gonna be fucking huge. I think. Yeah, I can't because, wait for that because because the idea of going in and making your own well, exactly. character and have basically a, a Harry Potter RPG which they've already done that before yeah. in the game in like the licensed games Harry Potter is were, my fucking um, they were loved just, like I have so much nostalgia for Harry Potter you know what I mean like yeah. I even as someone who who you know thinks that Harry Potter maybe looking back is quite shit um, <laughs> you know what I mean like it's, it's yeah. still I will still happily buy a Harry Potter mm. game or I will still happily I would watch a fucking Harry Potter TV show. Like, if they were to make a fucking Hermione TV show, you would bet your ass I would be up every morning watching that new episode. I know you would. I, I would. Know, I know I you would. would. <laughs> no, I, I think there is lots of... Because Harry Potter is a, a world which has... Why the fuck are we talking about Harry Potter? 
Harry Potter no, it's world just, but it's just, has, um, it's just the idea a billion of, characters. It's just that, like, there's so much IP and, like, yeah. and it's the idea of, like, there's, there's a lot of it out there that either is... Say, for, like, Star Wars, right? I'm, yeah. I'm sick to fucking death of Star Wars now. Same. But I don't Same. care. I don't care about Star Wars. I don't... I do want to rewatch the prequels, though. Yeah. Just because <laughs> I want to believe the prequels are the, good. The, the prequels, at least, don't feel as cynical. But that's the that's problem. That's so like, weird. <laughs> yeah, which is... But, like, but it's part of them where, like... I can see George Lucas, even though he is kind of cynical about Star Wars a little bit, like, he always kind of acknowledged, like, I mean, he gave it to Disney for the God knows how much money. I don't think he yeah. cares. But it's, there, but it's like, when he's on the prequels, yeah, yeah you know, he got billions from it. I don't, good for him. Yeah. But, like, but it's about them, but like, he made that. And, like, you know, and he got, you know, and, like, he made the prequels and he made that, yeah. like, sort of half, like, cynical, but half, like, he wanted to make it, he was passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, now, with, like, Star Wars, it went from having, like, a nice array of, like, content yeah. that was, like, steadily churned out yeah. with, like, books, games, and stuff. Mm. And now, it's TV show, TV show, TV show, TV show. Mm. The problem is with the TV shows is that the TV shows, for the most part, you know, typically focus on one small thing. That's kind of the problem with yeah. Star Wars. Is like... It's such an expansive universe. Disney's done everything in their power to make it as small as possible. Well, exactly. It's and like why um, it's just Taiko it's Taiko T is making the new Star Wars film. Yeah, and he, which he to be li- fair, I'm excited. And he literally complained about that a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, he said, said like, why is everything fucking like sound panel doing all that? And yeah, yeah. It's like, well, like, yeah. Why? Why, yeah, why yeah, like, is everything like, sound like, as one planet? I, 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 like now, like Star Wars, not yeah. fucking one planet that we somewhat explore. <laughs> yeah, wars, yeah. It's like it's such it's such a small thing, and it's and that's the problem is like. But it, a lot of that comes from Disney's desire to make everything based on. Oh, it's this person, it's that person, it's this person. Well, it's like, yeah, they, they brought back like Luke Skywalker into what, yeah, into Boba Fett, Boba Was Fett, it? and Boba Mandalorian as well. Like, but, but it's like an AI generated, which is fucking dystopian. But <laughs> like, <laughs> that's too, like, oh my god. But that's the thing is like, but they do that because it's what you recognize. But as well, it's just this idea of going back to the well. And yes. that's Disney's whole system right now is yeah. keep going back to the well. Keep going back. I mean, okay, like, let's do this. Let's do that. And it's like, and yeah, like, I get it. Like, Disney has all this IP that they can do whatever the fuck they want with. Yeah. But the problem is, is that you've also got, like, a lot of IP that gets, you know, tossed to the wayside. No, Not, exactly. and, and that's not even necessarily just apply to Disney. There's plenty of things like that. There's plenty of, you know, franchises that I think could actually do more with what they have. Yeah. Like, you know, Cloverfield. Yeah. I thought the idea of like a Cloverfield Twilight Zone thing was a really interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't work. But as like a concept on paper, really cool idea. Yeah. To just make all these films, you know, whether they are like, you know, random sci fi scripts or totally new ideas that they put Cloverfield in. I like the idea of doing that. And it could have worked. It didn't. But they could have made it work. Well, Time Cloverfield Lane slaps. Oh yeah, that's a great one and a it's paradox. Really, it's just paradox that fucked it up. And like, <gasps> there's probably there's another one coming out. Okay, that's eventually interesting. Like a it, like a direct it, sequel. The next ten years. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. After that, they announced it in like 2020. It's been no news since. Oh my god, you love to see it. But like, but that's the thing is like, but you know, I can totally see the potential of that. But it's one of them where it's like I just yeah because of. Because of like the general kind of nature of like of like studios now, it's all about IP. It's I get all you. about going back to the well, trying to do all that. Jurassic World Dominion came out two weeks ago, oh, yeah. and all that. The whole that whole film is hinged on you watching that and recognizing the people from the old one. No, exactly. Top Gun even does it to some extent, but Top Gun was a hell of a lot more respectable about it. Yeah, and at least you know. At least it's very similar to Top Gun One, but different at the same time. That like <laughs> legacy sequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. like a big thing now. Was like legacy sequels. Like Top Gun, I think does it quite well. But it is a legacy sequel, and it does kind of tell a similar story yeah. of it. But it, they switch some I get of the you. things, I get and you. the ending's very different to the first one and stuff. And it's like I mean, it's not just that. a soft remake like Force Awakens was. Yes. Like you know. Halloween twenty eighteen, something like that. Like you know, they always like like that's like another thing is like. Not making remakes. Yeah. Making, like, sequels that are kind of, like... Well, even fucking... The t- my favourite film, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, which I talk about a weird amount. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> even that, it's a sequel, but is also kind of a different genre. Yeah. yeah. It, it it's completely has a right to exist. Yeah. While something like, you know, they could have made that film easily, just Texas Chainsaw Massacre again. Yeah. Which would have been fucking boring. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, like, you know, they, they, like, like, there's always, like, a certain, like, so, like, Bad Boys for Life yeah. is another one. That's another, like, legacy sequel, like, take where that kind of switches the direction of that a little bit. It's passing the torch. It's very, it, it kind of puts it in a more, like, Fast and Furious direction. Yeah. Like, you know, these, like, that's, like, the popular trends. Ma- Matrix Resurrections. Yeah. Which, they made that go in a fucking, like, me- like, an extremely meta, like, direction. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a Matrix film about making a matrix like project yeah. like which is insane it was great and it's like and that's that's a really cool like angle to take and it's like so i do think there is there is like something there well, there exactly. is goals to be mined when yeah, you exactly. when you go in and go okay let's go back to the well but the problem is is it's it's all about intent yeah whereas like you know light year it doesn't seem to be made with the okay you know what i have this really cool no, idea it really and it goes it's made from because a Buzz Lightyear sells merch. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear sells tons of merch, that's really sad. And the thing is, Disney might not even care about how much this film makes, because if Lightyear merch yeah. is selling a lot, if if Lightyear and fucking Disney World is getting a bit of an extra boost... Well, it's the fact it's in, so like, many the... of these fucking Disney films yeah. you can watch and you can point to, that's their to sell toys. Yeah. It's like the fucking, um, there's a cat in Lightyear or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's made to sell toys. Which... That's, that, I mean, to be fair, that's happened, that, it used to be way worse with fucking oh, yeah, Transformers yeah. in the 80s and Star Wars and Yeah, but Star I, I think it's, it's, it's still apparent how much of these oh, great yeah, decisions yeah. Are, are driven by money. Yeah. Which, I mean, I know it's quite typical to complain about mm. fucking the fact that money rules the world. Obviously, oh, yeah, obviously yeah. it does. Obviously. Yeah. But it's, it, yeah, I think it, it's, the, the thing that's sad, I think there will always be sad, like, this is the coldest take of all time, I think there will always be sad is the fact that the biggest movies that come out today are the ones that are most obviously driven by money. Mm. And they're the ones that everyone knows about and everyone talks about and everyone watches. I think even streaming services creates this idea that, you know I mean, no one's going to be fucking sitting through, like people aren't now going to be sitting through fucking, um, like I don't know, Sky or something or looking on the channel to see what random film comes on. We can choose what the fuck we want to watch. Everyone's going to watch what the fuck they recognise. Well, and that's that's the thing is like, so like, because, like, Netflix said this a couple of weeks ago where they were, okay, like, because of the shit that's been going on with them with terms yeah. of losing subscribers, they want to make less films, but the films they make are large-budget films. Yeah. So, like, The Grey Man, I think, comes out in, like, yes. less than a month. Really? But, yeah, I think it's, like, July 15th or something. Who knew? Um, not, uh, not most people. Um, but, like, you know, but that, but that film, they've already announced the prequel, a sequel, yeah. Red Gnosis is getting sequels back-to-back. And stuff, and it's Love like that. they're doing all of that now. Okay, so they're doing all this, but that's why it's like Blonde on, which is coming to Netflix in September. Yeah, I think like, one thing I said on Twitter about that, and they said like that is probably going to be the last Netflix film that feels like it's taking a proper swing, like a like a like like the Irishman yeah. because yeah, yeah, yeah. it because they kind of said that those films, those like you know our tour focus yeah. projects yeah vanity projects as they've been calling them which is fucking depressing calling hell? calling someone's passionate work a vanity project yeah no i hate that like i hate yeah that. which is what fucking netflix themselves said that's terrible like yeah they were like vanity that projects like the irishman that is terrible which is insane and that's Bro, what i mean they uh... they see that and that's and i blonde judging by what people have been saying about it and judging by what andrew dominic has said about it it seems like that's exactly what this is is to Netflix that's a vanity project because it's taken an unconventional look at Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. It's you know, it's probably it's like I believe it's nearly three hours long. It's Fuck quite now. graphic. Yeah. But it's you know, it's it's rated as an eighteen here. It's like, you know, it's there's a lot going on and then, yeah. and so it's not gonna be like, you know, I like I'm saying this now, I don't think it's gonna be in the Oscars. Yeah, no problem. Because not. it sounds like it's it might be a bit too heavy for them. Yeah. It's like cause, I mean Spencer struggled. Yeah, to no, get exactly, in exactly. because Spencer was not a traditional, like you yeah. know, biopic of Diana. It was a basically it was a horror movie. Yeah, it was a fucking horror movie, like psychological thriller. It was almost a psychological yeah, exactly. drama with Diana, with with Diana, and it's yeah. like, because she played Diana, and it's like okay, so and that's the problem. It's like but like sort of like Bohemian Rhapsody will get into the Oscars because yeah. that is so focus tested and so 
yes. finely tuned to what audiences want. Exactly, a safe, yeah, exactly. predictable. Funnily enough, that just came out on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> but those films make money, and that's the, and that's the depressing reality. Is those yeah. films do? It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, Top Gun Maverick. It's as safe as you can get. Yeah. It is a very safe blockbuster film, but I'd still argue there's passion with that. Well, you, no, could, exactly. you could still make a simple blockbuster movie, yeah. but still have that level of passion behind it. It's just, yes. it's all a matter of what you personally go into, what your intent is. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick and like Mission Impossible, all them, they are basic blockbusters, basic action blockbusters. Well, so yeah. The stories of them is like fucking simple, minimal, yeah. but Tom Cruise goes into them because he cares about yeah. those films. And he wants to give a proper cinema experience. That's why Top Gun's doing so well right now. Because yeah. I think it's the first film since we've come out of the pandemic that feels like a classic blockbuster movie. Yeah. Sure, we've had Spider-Man and all that. But, but those aren't classic blockbusters. No, yeah, exactly. They're very much like, you know, they, they cater to a specific... Films. Yeah, they they like It's a very specific fan. Which yeah, there's yeah, plenty yeah. of those fans. Top Gun's a film for everyone. Yes. It's a film that everyone can see. Old people can see. Yes. Young people can see. Like, there's, there's everyone can see. A Get bit, the old people out. Which they've been trying to for a while well, no, exactly, now. Like, exactly. Because, you know, fucking Downton Abbey flopped. They were trying to get, you know, because old people weren't going to see it. And it's like, because that That's was the only so they wanted. And it's like, but Top Gun seems to be bringing people out because it seems Love to be that. this, you know. No, that's great. Yeah, like the films had likes. Really the film's great. doing really well. And it's nice to see that. Well, yeah, exactly. And it's like, yeah, it's a very simple blockbuster. And it's, but I do think there is a place for that. The yes. problem is, is that when you put all your eggs in one basket for these films, that's where the issue starts to arise. Yeah. And it's like, no, granted, this year's been a bit better. For that, because obviously everything I've read all at once has done well. The Northman, oh. which, you know, I know it flopped, but the Northman, you know, at least the Batman. But, I mean, the fact the Northman came out. Northman came out and has an audience, and it yeah. seems like it's done all right when it's been, like, on, like, you know, digital. Yeah, it's doing all right on VOD, it, I think. Yeah, like, it's doing, like, you know, people have found it, people have discovered it. The Batman yeah. done very well. I know yes. it didn't do didn't do a billion, it didn't do as well as, like, Spider-Man, but it was never going to. No, exactly. It's far too, you know, it still made a very good amount of money. Yes. Joker, which I know people don't like Joker, but Joker. I do. Joker 2. Joker 2. Musical. Which, honestly, I am more than interested to see. No, it I'm very intrigued. Because that, like, because you wouldn't have gotten that. That, yeah. like, that is not what I expected. So that's why I'm interested. No, I'm very intrigued. I'm like, very, that's, very intrigued. Because I, in, not in a million years, would I expect Joker 2 to be a musical. Yes. So that's why I'm like, okay. Maybe there's something here. Yeah. Maybe not. It could be a piece of shit. I don't know. But we don't know. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm like, very intrigued. But as a concept, like, okay, making it a musical might be interesting. It could be a really interesting experimental thing to do. Yes. For a superhero, like, I, I know it's not superhero, like, but those yeah, comic yeah. book movies, which typically follow a formula, having one of them come out and it's a musical yes. that, you know, is like, a two hour long musical that's probably going to be quite because it's going to be a musical the same way fucking like cabaret is yeah. a musical or something where it's like it's not going to be this light cheerful thing if it does that it's going to do that in like kind of a scary way it's going to be almost disturbing yeah that yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. that so it's like so I don't think it's going to be a musical in that traditional sense of yeah. that it's probably going to no, be fair, like, I, I could see it working yeah like I, I could totally see it being a musical like fucking Dancer in the Dark was a musical yeah where it's like it's not where that actually, it could actually really help that film, like, land, like, emotionally. Yeah. Which, like, I, you know, could be really interesting. No, I think it could be really good. I'm, I'm intrigued. You know, I'm yeah, very it's like, intrigued. It's like, 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 there's something there, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, I can see the cynical side of it going, okay, they're making a Joker too, because Joker made a billion. Yes. There is no way Warner Brothers were not going to make another Joker well, exactly, film after the money exactly. that fucking made. Like, but I also would respect it if they did say to Todd Phillips... Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Because you made that money. Let's just, you know, like, fine, you've done that. I mean, you know, it's like, there is still that size with, like, okay, with all these, like, blockbuster films, there's still, like, James Wan will make a blockbuster. You'll make Aquaman, but they can go and make fucking malignant afterwards. Yeah. Like, you know, there's still that space. Like, I don't think, I'm not, like, cynical to the point where I'm like, okay, these films... Like these pop films, that's all we're gonna get now. Yeah. 2022 is proved. Well, like, no, that's wrong. Has had some fucking bangers. Like it's been a fantastic year so far, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it seems to be you know there's some good stuff like coming out, and yeah. it's like you know for all the shit that we're getting, like in terms of Marvel stuff, 
Like, in terms of, like, Doctor Strange and yeah. Thor looks kind of... Which I'm worried about, because I like Taika Waititi, so I love it. No, I do. Like, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that I'm underwhelmed, like, seeing it. Yeah, like, to be fair, Taika Waititi's probably got fucking next girl wins coming out soon, which Yeah, which I'm fun. more excited for that, to be honest. Yeah, same, I'm because really I can see that, that, like, being quite good. I can, yeah. see, I can see that being enjoyable, but yeah, it's exactly. like... You know, but it's like... Because with that one, maybe he's done that in between. I mean... Pandemic's probably affected it, but I think it was being worked on before the pandemic. No, I, I remember hearing about that film. Yeah, for like ages. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that was meant to be like a 2020 film. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's no, either they so. filmed it a while ago or it's just there, like waiting to be like you yeah, know released. Yeah, waiting to. Be, I, but we've even had a trailer. No, there's been, but there's been like, but I remember like behind the scenes, like you know, like like um, yeah. like shots of it being released a very long time ago yeah. so I presume yeah, it's yeah, finished yeah. but no, just I guess kind of big Fox search like doing it so I guess it's just scheduling and yeah, stuff that's yeah, like yeah, done that, that like they don't want it to be but it's one of them it's like okay maybe he's doing these big blockbuster movies to yeah. then make these smaller ones it in makes so much sense that film to come out in like November when the World Cup's happening if it's about a World oh, Cup oh shit yeah that'll be perfect timing Maybe, it, Fox. maybe, maybe that's why. They, they're better because maybe, that is insane timing. Maybe You're not going to get better timing than that. Maybe they realise, okay, they didn't want to come out in 2020 because they had Nomadland. And maybe they wanted yeah. to put all the folk, because I'm assuming it'll be a big award contender. Potentially, Like, yeah. like Jojo Rabbit was. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a sports film. Yeah, like, it's a sports film. It's probably going to be, like, conventional, even if it is a good yeah, film. It'll like, be, it's still going to have a very safe... Like, it'll be kind of like, I guess, Coda in the way where it's, it's like, feel good. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's what it seems like it's going to be. Yeah. Like, it, but it's also, like, a like a Taika Waititi comedy. So they got that. 2020 was Nomadland, so I'm sure yeah. didn't want it to come out then. 2021 was, like, French Dispatch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't want it getting, like, you know... Because I do... I can see that being a huge award. It's like oh, no, no, definitely. Sweeper. If definitely. It, because, it's, again, it's safe. It's, it could be like a King Richard or yeah. something like that where it, yeah. it makes a lot of waves because of its, like, you know, relative, well, yeah. like, just safeness. And it's like, but I also do see, like, I could see Taika Waititi doing those things and he does, like, a couple of TV shows as well. Yeah. Like, he's doing them in between these big blockbusters. So I do think there is a place for that where people are clearly taking these blockbusters on. To go and make other things. Yes. Like, I yeah, know yeah, yeah. Scott, Scott Derrickson is releasing a film next week in the Black Film. Yes. Which yeah, is his film. first film since Doctor Strange. You'd mention Doctor Strange too, but he left. Yeah. It's like. First film since Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. What's that man been doing for seven years? He was he was do, he was going to do Doctor Strange too. Oh, but he, yeah, he left yeah. it because of. I, I think I think it was because it wasn't scary enough. Yes. I think it, I think he wanted that to be a full on horror film. Yeah. Because it's. According it's to, not. Yeah, but it's like what it is. It's, <laughs> it's it, not. Yeah, it's like it, there's a couple of bits that are Sam Raimi. It's but not it's even not scary. as scary. Like, I wouldn't even say it's a single bit scary. It's just gothic more than anything. It's just, it's just got a horror aesthetic that it uses. Sometimes. Yeah, it's like with like one with like one that's like yeah and stuff. It's like it's got like more like horror moments like the way Black Bolt like dies and stuff it's like, like a horror so, moment. Yeah, but it's like it's it's but it's still a bit more horror than Marvel oh, usually okay, does. Yeah. By Marvel standards, it is horror, it is in, yeah. I guess brutal. But I feel like got it's it, it, it Scott Derrickson wanted to maybe do like more something. horror, more yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. more that like makes, that makes sense. yeah. It, but then he left, and it, so because he's doing like a film about a guy who like kidnaps kids. Yeah. And then this kid has to escape by talking to dead kids <laughs> to escape. So it's a bit like he's doing a film yeah, with yeah. that plotline, which is like classic horror that he's yeah. going to do it's like the classic horror classic like horror like <laughs> dead kids over the <laughs> classic horror but, but in Ethan Hawke has like a funky mask like which, <laughs> a story is all this time story is all the time but like, well, that's the thing. He's like but he's went to go and do that yeah which no is I, like, get you, I get and it's like he's so it's one of them I could see that side for the filmmakers but I think that it's the long term ramifications of that yeah where it's like you know hopefully I mean, I think we're hopefully starting to get better. Yeah. Because, you know, like, because, I mean, horror still does look great, to be fair. Horror, like, the horror scene, to be honest, has never been better. Yeah. From, like, that angle, because we don't really get that many remakes anymore. No, no, exactly. We get, like, we get, like, the odd one, but, like, it's not as big, I think we get more original stuff. Yeah. So horror's doing great, but then everything else is... Everywhere all at once. Yeah. But then all of those are struggling. Yeah. They're yeah, struggling yeah. to find... The next thing, so they have yes. to go back to the well and like. But I guess yeah. the problem with Disney is that is none of their big 
um, like the new anime films are really exploding. Encanto kind of did, but even though I feel like the Encanto hype died Encanto, really quickly. Encanto only did that because it came to streaming. Well, yeah, that's why. Because before then, we're like they they kind of fucked that film over because they told people it was streaming. They told people where it was coming to streaming before yeah. the film released. Well, no, exactly. It was like okay, it's coming to Christmas Eve. So it was like people yeah. were just like oh, okay, I'll just wait. But it's like um, like the new Disney film is Strange World. Who gives a shit? No one cares. I watched the trailer for that and I, I just couldn't care because it looks so yeah. generic. No, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, what else have they done? Frozen 2. Yeah, no one cared. No one cared. Well, see, this is the problem. is Disney aren't making Raya. something new. Exactly. No one cares. Yeah, that's right. Who the fuck cared about that? That, that came and went. Like, yeah. it was nothing. Like, within a week, this no is one the problem. Is no Disney are releasing these films, which no one cares about. Yeah. Meaning that Disney are going, oh, we need to make more live action remakes of the old yeah. stuff. There's probably, there's probably going to be a live action Frozen. Well, no, absolutely there, there will be. There will absolutely be one, probably there, within the, the next year. The fact there isn't, I'm shocked yeah. already. You yeah. know what I mean? And probably, it's almost 10 years. Yeah. Next year it will be the and 10th if, anniversary. And if not a Frozen live action film, a Frozen 3. Yeah. Because Frozen 2 did amazingly well. Yeah. Even exactly. though that film is shit. Yeah. It's awful. Exactly. Because, and, that's, and that's the thing, but Frozen makes an absurd amount of money. It does. And that's the problem. It's like, Disney, it, 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 it's not that these films make money is the problem. It's that Disney are afraid, and most studios are afraid mm. to, because that's the thing as well, it's like a lot of these films that they do go out there and risk, they don't really give them a chance no. either. No, like, no, they no, don't no. They don't advertise them enough. They don't do this, they don't do that. All these films as well come out, it, like, Ray came out in the pandemic. Yeah. But even then, even even back then, like they didn't give that a chance. Like right, yeah. they still, they never were like, okay, like let's really push this film. Like, no, let's, exactly. Even Ray, know. like Ray, they were all coming and going. Yeah. They OG and go. Disney films stuck with you. Yeah. Like and they, and you know, yeah. they were powerful forces. Yeah. I am not showing my kid Raya the Last Dragon. Yeah. But yeah. I will still show my kid the Lion yeah. King. Yeah. Or like okay, like Minions will do yeah. that. Yeah. But it's like, but say if Illumination went to go and do a new original project. Yeah. Secret Lives of Pets 2, I mean, like, flopped. We know that's a sequel, Terrible but film. that was an original Why did idea I from that? <laughs> Why did Why I watch that? Why did you? Why did I watch that? Like, <laughs> but, like, but that's the thing, it's like, okay, so, I don't know if Illumination have, like, any an original in the works now, because I think no, the, past, the past couple of years, all they've done is, I mean, Sing 2 done well. Secret yeah. Lives of Pets 2 didn't. Well, even The Grinch was a remake. The yes, Grinch was a remake, the Mario, Mario's obviously based on the Mario IP, yeah. like, Minions is obviously a spin-off of the thing that's most popular. Mm-hmm. But it's also, even that's tying back to Despicable Me. I mean, this is Minions 2. Yeah, and it's also like... So with, it's a sequel of a spin-off. It's a sequel of, of a spin-off, but it's also a prequel to Despicable Me. Because yeah. Gru is like the main character. So it's like, yeah, so you've got yeah. all of those angles to it. Why? I don't and it's know. Like, and that's, I mean, I don't, it, and that's the problem. It's like, but then like, you know, when we are talking about coming out now, like Elvis... Could yeah. be an interesting one. I'm interested to see how that's going to do. Yeah. I have no idea how yeah. that's going to do because I think that will either be huge or a gigantic flop. I could see it being a flop because I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I, I, that's the thing. I was thinking that. I mean, the marketing's then, terrible. The marketing's been terrible, but the reviews for it, like we got like a 12 minute standard ovation at Cannes. Yeah. Which is yeah, insane. Yeah. But then, and I've seen, but then at the same time, but I've seen the reviews. I've not seen anyone outright say this is a masterpiece. I've yeah. seen people going, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's fine. But it being fine could be the reason why it does well. Because a lot of people will see it and be like, because mm. that's the thing. A lot of general audiences might see it go, oh, this is great. Because it's an Elvis film that tells it in a very simple way. Yeah, I'm, I am intrigued. I am Cause intrigued. Because I know it's, I know it's Boz, like, I know it's that director who's doing it, who, is, who typically does get a bit more outlandish. Yeah. But I still think he is reining himself in somewhat. Yes. Like, he's still... Because I think it still is a Elvis biopic. He's still doing a biopic film rather than doing Romeo and Juliet or Great Gatsby. Where it's like... Fucking Romeo and Juliet film. Yeah, where it's like... Bane of my existence. <laughs> but that's the thing. But that's, but that's what he always did was he'd go and do, like, you know, something like that. He'd do yeah. a play. He'd do... I get and you, I get you. do his own spin on it. Whereas it seems like he's, st- he's doing his own spin with Elvis, but he's still sticking to the Elvis story. Yeah. Like, he's still sticking to that. So it's not going to be as... Wacky, yeah. So, so it's not it's not quite Bohemian. It's gonna be like showing in the middle. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. it's like it's not Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm intrigued to see how it does at the Oscars. To be honest, what? I'm intrigued to see how Elvis does at the Oscars. I f- yo, I think like I think like Austin Butler will be a given. 
Oh, absolutely. Maybe not win it, but he'll be easy non. Bam bet. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see exactly like how it, like whether or not a Bohemian Rhapsody performs, whether or not a Rocket Man performs. Well, that's that's the thing, yeah, because that's the thing. It could it could go either way. Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, wasn't that the one that won the most awards that night? Something stupid like that. It was, yeah, that 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 did insanely well, but that's because that film was so finely tuned yeah, for the audiences, yeah. whereas Rocket Man was a, was a bit more. It was a bit more out there. It was a bit more out there, which Elvis is like kind of. It's yeah. like a bit of both. It's kind yeah, of like yeah, yeah. It, it's being both at once, where it's so it's like. So that's why it's such a wild card because it's like yeah. I feel like it literally could go either way. I mean, Rocket Man wasn't it wasn't a complete flop. Yeah. But it didn't, you know. But I think it still like made money, but it didn't make what Bohemian Rhapsody did, which I'm assuming is what they were hoping for. I get you. I get it's, you. Because it's you know Bohemian Rhapsody was well, fucking huge. I guess in conclusion. Yeah. Because we probably should figure out a way to wrap this all together up anyway. Yes. <laughs> which Disney live action remake are you most excited for? Um. Mars needs mums. That's fair. That's fair. Let's do that one. I'm so excited for um, Peter Pan and Wendy, directed by the same guy who did The Green Knight. I think that's gonna be sick. What if it's like, what if it's a what if it's Disney's attempt at making a A24 film? Okay, to be fair, I could see that with Peter Pan. It would actually be kind of hype. Like a green, like you went, you know what? Fuck it. Let's Have just... you seen? Um, there's a trailer for this. There's a new film coming out. Which is, I think it's like a really independent, low-budget British drama or whatever the fuck. Which one? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. But it's basically a Peter Pan film, which is about, like, Wendy having grown up. Um, is it called Wen- It's called Wendy, isn't no, it? No, no, it's, it's, that's a different one. Oh, oh, okay. It's a different one. It's about Wendy having grown, grown up. And she's, it's about, like, Peter Pan coming back to creep on Wendy's daughter. It's basically about like what creepy, the f- it's basically about creepy Peter Pan. The fuck? What's this called? Like, what? I don't know what it's called. It's it's fucking weird. Um, is it like a is it like a like a drama? Like, yeah, it's it's like, like it's like a proper drama that's about Peter Pan trying coming back and then trying to hit on Wendy's daughter. Because I I, re- I remember Wendy. I never saw it, but I remember that when that came. Yeah, out. I remember. I I wanted to see that, but I never did for whatever reason. Like, yeah, because um, that's. I mean, I don't know much about it, but like I know like that was like a Peter Pan like yeah. thing. I think Peter Pan is like Peter Pan is, it is a horror story, that is told in a not horror way because. Remember Pan. Oh boy, do I remember the scene when he sings fucking Nirvana. <laughs> Peter Pan. <laughs> All right. Well, if you enjoyed this installment of our podcast, mm-hmm. make sure you um you like comment you subscribe you follow on spotify mm-hmm. you do all the things that a good fan does yes you follow us on all of our social media follow us on letterbox follow us on letterbox if you want to read um some bad reviews and some probably good ones and you can look at how good my taste is and how bad his taste is and vice versa look at how shit his taste is my he likes is. mars needs moms i like good films no, no, he doesn't. That that's a that's a wrong mm. opinion. Bad opinion. Mm. Bad opinion alert. That's just me. Anytime I read an Aaron review. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.